Sometimes a weapon is so dangerous that the threat of its use becomes more effective than the weapon itself. At UFC 246, we saw Conor McGregor use his best attack as a decoy and that resulted in pure domination. After all, if your opponent knows you have a nuclear bomb, you don't even need to use it. The fight starts. McGregor immediately opens up with a monstrous left hand. He wants Cowboy to feel its presence and respect it. It's a clear warning. I let that left hand go from the chamber. Cowboy reacts well. He ducks under the shot for the takedown attempt. Connor's momentum carries his left leg towards Donald and the first contact occurs. That contact stops Cerrone in his tracks and he's unable to scoop the leg with his right arm. He tries to grab the other leg with his left arm but he doesn't find a decent grip to complete the takedown. And there's a reason for that. While in mid-air, Conor McGregor kicks his own leg backwards to get out of Cowboy's reach and at the same time he gets the underhook with his right hand and he wraps his left arm around Donald's face to secure bicep control. He's still in the air and he's already secured the position. His legs are too far for Cowboy to grab and he controls Cerrone's arms for good measure. It looks like he's levitating, but when he finally lands on the ground, he's in position for shoulder strikes. Cowboy pushes him backwards. Connor stops, plants his feet and launches his left side towards Cowboy's face. Helped by the bicep control, Connor is able to jump into the shoulder strikes while using Cowboy's forward momentum to maximize the impact. Plus, Cowboy wants to be close to Connor. Every time there's separation between his head and McGregor, he wants to close the gap immediately and that makes him run into some of the most damaging shoulders we have ever seen in the UFC. Those strikes produce a horrific sound and Cowboy has no choice but to separate. We separated, I saw the busted nose and the busted eyes, so I was like, holy, happy days. Connor immediately starts pressuring Cowboy against the fence. Then, Donald tries a head kick, but McGregor shows impeccable defense. His guards perfectly aligned to keep a good field of vision. He easily identifies the threat. He uses one hand to deflect the kick and he expertly places his left elbow to block it. The shin lands on the point of the elbow. This is as successful a block as you'll ever see because it hurts the attacker more than the defender. This next sequence, I have to say, is pure greatness. Cowboy is circling to Connor's left. Connor shows the nuclear bomb, the left paw. Because of the very first shot of the fight, Cowboy is extra worried about that punch and so he dips his head on the outside while leaning away from the left hand. Donald does some things that's susceptible to a high kick also. Actually, Cowboy is so bothered by the threat of the left that he tries to parry it with his right hand. And that is the beginning of the end. Look at this. Connor initiates the kick while he's creating Cowboy's reaction with his menacing left hand. Then, he exploits Donald's position by hiding his whole leg in Cerrone's blind spot. Look, Cowboy's right arm completely shields his vision because of the parry caused by the left hand threat. Connor hides his kick until the very last moment and finally whips his leg around to hurt Donald badly. The elasticity and the fluidity of that technique are mind-boggling. It's essentially a left hand feint followed by some sort of question mark kick. Ironically, Cowboy gets caught by a far more advanced version of his oldest trick. With more flexibility, more fluidity, more circular motion, Conor McGregor hides a head kick behind the punch better than Cowboy ever did and accurately finds Donald's chin with his toes. The Notorious can now show his masterful finishing ability. He sees his opponent covering up. The threat of the left hand is always there and he knows his opponent is going to try to duck under it. A jumping knee seems like a decent way to exploit that tendency. He jumps and as soon as the knee is up, he covers the vision with his right hand. Then he uses that grip to control his balance on the way down. Ladies and gentlemen, look at that landing. Insane mid-air transition once again, already in an ideal position to launch the power hand. The range is found with the lead hand. The angle of attack is favorable because Connor has full vision of the target while Cowboy has no vision of the weapon. The scene is set. The right hand lowers Cerrone's right at the last moment to let the left come in. Boom. Amazing explosive footwork by McGregor. Four little steps of genius guide Cowboy linearly away from his left hand. He can't move this way because that's the cage. If he moves this way, he gets caught off by Connor with fast and precise footwork. 
Again, McGregor covers Cerrone's vision and hits him. And again. Cowboy is finally down but is given no space to breathe. Conor McGregor controls the ankle and ultimately finishes the fight. Some said that Conor only had a left hand and that everything else was complimentary. Little did they know, this fight showed the complete opposite. The left hand was setting up every strike, the knees, the kicks, the elbows, the shoulders. I was ready to utilize all my weapons, all my arsenal. From what I've seen, I'm ready to say that Conor McGregor is the greatest fighter ever with a full gas tank. If you look at the first minutes of his fights, he looks superhuman. Respect to Cowboy, that guy is so freaking tough and he'll always be a legend of the sport. He's been beaten by some great fighters over the years, RDA, Jorge Masvidal, Darren Till, but no one has done it more impressively than Conor McGregor.